Today we'll be looking at the Hitachi 120 watt two channel all in one soundbar with Bluetooth. I had purchased this from Argos on offer from 50 to 34 pounds, 35 pounds. Um, so let me just quickly show you the Argos web page. This is the Hitachi bar. In terms of pricing, as you can see, it's there. It's got good reviews. Um, over 1,360 reviews from Argos and it's got four and a half stars. So yeah, so this is the product we'll be looking at today. So let's go right into the unboxing. So this is the Hitachi 120 watt Bluetooth speaker. Let's quickly open it up and see how it looks. So we're just gonna open it up. So looking at the box, as you can see, it says Bluetooth connectivity, uh, desktop or wall mount, uh, design and peak power 120 watts. As you can see, the soundbar looks pretty good as well. It looks quite sleek, um, slightly big, uh, slightly a bit chunky, but considering the price and what features it has, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, so let's look around the back. There's nothing at the bottom. The back is just the same thing. It has the model number. So if we have a quick look. As you can see, there's the model number, the brand. Package, quite securely packaged. Um, as you can see, it's got cardboard um, protection and some foam. So let's check the whole thing out. So once we remove the foam from the top, you get a manual. So you get a manual. Um, fairly straightforward. I won't read through this. I'm sure it's straightforward enough to set up. Can't see it taking any too much time. Okay, so let's get the sound bar out. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Um, probably around, I'm not even sure. Um, so let's just put the sound bar down. In the box, what's left, you wouldn't notice, but there's a tiny little box. That's probably the power supply. So let's just quickly look at that. So now looking at the box, what's inside? Let's open it up. Oh, so yeah, you get your remote. You, you get a remote, you get the Bluetooth functionality, power mute volume up volume down and different modes that's pretty cool let's put that to one side you get the wall mount uh, sorry you get the rubber mounts at the at the bottom of the legs so that it doesn't move around you get the aux uh, all the old um, connection port forgot the name of it and the power book power brick is quite big hmm I'm not sure how I'm going to plug this into my plug socket but yes it's fairly big anyway so that's just that so now let's go back to the speaker and open this up quite a lot of packaging as you can tell so the opening port is on one side just here and if we just slide the product out, there it is. It's gloss finish. It's quite big. Um, yeah, just have a quick look around. As you can see, here's the bottom ports. So yeah. So you have the headphone jack, which is 3.5 millimeter. You have audio in and audio out. Then you have your DC power adapter. Again, you have the model number and you get the wall mounts. This is the wall mount and there's the other wall mount. So the body's made out of plastic. You have a metal grill at the front 
and you got the Hitachi logo. Um, yeah, I can pretty much hold it with one hand. It's portable enough. It only needs cable, and because it has Bluetooth, you can use this as just a music speaker for your phone, tablet, anything when you're streaming. It doesn't have to just be for your TV. Um, so let's just peel this off. And then at the top, right at the top, you have your power. You have mode, volume down, volume up. And then it has a message saying the eco-friendly technology will switch this device to standby mode automatically when the input volume is too low or muted for over 15 minutes. Well, that's quite cool. So it's got a good uh, little feature there. That should help save some power. Um, but other than that, yeah, that was just a quick look at the Hitachi 120 watt soundbar from Argos on offer now for £35 and was £50. And I'll give you an updated video on how to install and use the soundbar and the quality of the soundbar itself. So stay tuned guys and thank you for watching. Peace.